Oh really? I need water now. 20 meters of water. I ran out of money. I can just restart this over again. A long time ago, I said you'd always have a place in my company, and that's still true. Unfortunately for you, that place is in the zoo's outbox, because you're fired. It's not all bad, though. As part of your severance package, you get to keep your uniform. Don't worry, I'll take the cost out of your final pay packet. Oh, hello there. It's Emma again. I was so happy to hear the news about Dominic firing you. Oh, sorry. Well, oh, that came across terribly. I simply mean that the timing of your dismissal is extremely serendipitous. You see, remember that something that I mentioned before? Well, I'm excited to say it has finally come to fruition. As a result, I find myself in need of a zoo manager. And while I could do it myself, I'll have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Let me explain. You see, I plan on constructing a chain of zoos as rivals to those of Mr. Myers. Zoos where both the welfare of the animals and our planet is of paramount importance. The eventual goal? To drive Mr. Myers out of business and rescue the animals he's exploiting. But such a task is not simple. I will need someone like yourself who is qualified to handle the building of the zoos, while I concentrate on the overarching business. So, are you ready to make a difference? <laughs> Sorry, I was having a sleep. Yes. Let's do this. Welcome to your new zoo. Thank you. This should be a much more pleasant experience for you than your recent ones. And it should be more exciting too. Just not in a, will I eventually be arrested for being a part of this way as it was with Mr. Myers. Not that your work won't be challenging. I mean, I want this zoo to become a paragon of eco-friendliness. You might say, we want to have a small carbon paw print. <laughs> oh, come on. No, nothing. Fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, welcome back at some more Planet Zoo. The last time we already talked about the objectives, we uh, uh, explored this whole area, and it's time to do something. Well, this is not uh, the first take I'm doing. I uh, I tried to do something before and it went wrong. Look at this footage. So yeah, I uh, have to restart this over again. But what I'm going just going to do is uh, make a basic area here. And uh, then I'll just come back. So how about we just start off with timber walls. Because we should not forget when we start off this park. At the beginning there is already power. And for this power you apparently don't pay. So these coolers down here don't do anything to the overall cost. And look at my money. 15,000 bucks. So the money is going up. Sometimes it goes down. It just depends on how much uh, money is getting in but so far with this setup down here I have been making at least 10,000 bucks it took a very long time which I don't mind alright uh, I'm just gonna go slowly like this on this is actually what I've got I uh, just dumped all of this stuff down here um, I do have an amazing plan for this start this area but for now I cannot do anything with it because you know I need to set up a basic zoo and then from that I want to move on to this area um, this stuff what will be built down here will be you know removed over here somewhere um, so my plan still uh, I want to make here like a staff area one with the surrounding area that uh, they're going to maintain there will be four more of the staff areas. There will be one here, one there, one there, and one there. So we, in the end, we will have five of these areas. Um, so what am I doing right now is just slowly maintaining this. Um, the other problem I've noticed, there is... Uh, the only thing that is kind of difficult, and just going to put it on any species, is the start. There is a lot that needs conservation credits. And the funniest thing is the one you can do uh, with money actually need water. So you need to move out of the uh, area uh, where you have free power and go onto the water. Except for the timber wolves. Um, 
And of course you have the top here, but the top here needs the one way glass and I don't have that so they will be stressed up all the time. Uh, people don't like that they are stressed, you know the welfare goes down. Uh, anything else is flamingos, flamingos need water. There is one more species left which I am actually trying to save up these conservation credits for. I need plus minus 350. So it's going to take a little bit of time, and those are the, um, which I call the bacterial camels. Um, so as you can see, and now I got just one left away, like seven or something, well, we'll be fine. As you can see, I need a lot of credits, they, uh, were on sale for 150, so I hope against the time I've got a bit of stuff that I can just get uh, these camels and I want to place these camels along this side here so I can make a little bit more money I don't need any uh, extra staff, staff is fine as the way it is they can uh, maintain it um, the only thing sometimes I have to do is you know call the mechanic when it's about 50% uh, because the mechanic just keep researching stuff which is very handy I already got this power 1 I want to have this power 2 and probably I keep moving on um, doing this stuff. Uh, meanwhile, Soapy Mohammed is uh, researching this. Uh, I want the mechanic to also research this. So then at some point I can get tapirs, dump them on uh, somewhere around here. Get a little bit more money going and from that point on when this stuff is just basically going, bringing in money. I would like to move on to this area, so then um, you know, I can place down the staff facilities, make an extra part going this way, so I can start uh, putting in these water animals, or at least animals that need water, like the buffalo, flamingo, uh, salt water crocodile, um, and then uh, at some point when this stuff is rolling and going, I'm slowly moving on this area to... I don't know, somewhere around here, whatever, um, you know, you can also place these guys, like just in the front here, because they don't need water, or uh, up here, because this is like a cliff-ish site, then I can make like a pathway going near to his cliff site and put it up just along the line, of course I can use terrain tools, and I move them on here, go down again, and just go around the corner, Going this way, go up here, go up here, go down there. Uh, there will be a few bridges um, from this stuff area. For example, one will be down here to take care for the uh, African buffalo, whatever it is. Um, there might be a bridge going, of course, this way. Maybe with a part along the line so they can take care of these animals and those animals. Uh, they can take care of those, care of the one here up front. So I've, I've got a lot of time to think about uh, stuff and I actually really like to play it like this. Um, when I got a one-way glass and things like that, um, what I would like to also research is the... Well, let, let's just see what we can. What is important to do is... Well, the African team, I think all of the teams at least uh, research one of them. Uh, also, this one going to be uh, a big role, not because I need the festive stuff, but I'm going to need the wood. I would like to create over here like a small uh, western city. Just over here, just something small, a few shops in there, toilets. Um, maybe I'll just... You know, make a building here and then leave this open so they can watch the animals at this side. Um, the same probably goes for this side here. I'll just dig this out a little more. Put something down here. I'll just have to see for this area though, since the staff need to walk for miles. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, think of something. And uh, yeah, I w what I would like to do over here, maybe I'll just make a pathway from here, is I would like to see if I can create like a nice water tower with um, probably a name on it. Oh boy. So when you're up here, you can see like a name on it. Uh, create a nice fence around this. Uh, maybe dump in a few rocks here and there. I just want to create something very cool. So I'll have to do another skip. Yeah, hoor, komt u er maar in met de nieuwe beesten. Wow. 
Wow! This zoo's already looking so much better. You've made some really big strides in conservation. You know, Nancy was right to recommend you. She said she would have come along herself as well if it wasn't for the weather. Apparently it's too nice. <laughs> Alright, that is the bronze star completed. So I've been doing a lot of stuff. Let me just uh, show you around what I have been doing. Uh, first of all, I've completed all the objectives like I said. Um, it just uh, placed four different species, which I have. I've got the timber wolf, I got the camel, I've got the tapir, because the one-way glass should be there, uh, even though this one has placed me wrong. Uh, let me just fix that up. And I've got just about the African wild... Um, African wild... What is that? African wild... Buffalo! Okay, there we go. I couldn't find the words. Excuse me for that. Um, I thought place two new timber wolf. Uh, I already completed with the first uh, stage down here. Uh, increased conservation rating. Um, I have no idea exactly how that works. Maybe by uh, just selling some animals. And reach 10% plant diversity. I have to be honest, I already got 9% with both of these. And I will just explain you what I did down here um, besides placing plant diversity is I took from Europe I took one of these one of those one of them then I placed it on North America one of these one of those one of them then I placed it on Asia took one of these those them so it's like I've got nine different plants already in here and for the camel it's actually um, you know two different ones and then I was like on nine percent already um, I could increase it more, I believe. Uh, when then I placed just some stuff down here. I believe it's just uh, uh, the tropical one that I added with it. So I already got the first objective complete. Now let me see how much. So it's already on on twelve percent. Um, maybe it would be nice to just have a little focus to see what is going on. Unbox animal, please. And of course, down here I need to play some more. Now I am kind of happy with the setup I've got here also I am actually not happy because I made it a little bit too big as in uh, width right uh, what I should have done is place the pathway uh, a little bit closer towards the water because if there is one thing better it's you can better have uh, an habitat in the length no, near the path than having it from the front to the back uh, larger so people will have um, can see a lot more like this one is more from the front to the back it's very large and people cannot see everything and they you know like um, they start complaining about this complaining about that um, before uh, the water was like the water fence was like here and they were like oh we wish the top here got some more place to swim uh, while the area of swimming was already 150 something uh, so I even increased it more uh, apparently that does work so in this case what I've also been doing already is place a very nice uh, fence around this area to make it look a little bit wild westery uh, it was a little bit of messing around but you know in the end it looks okay got a tiny little opening down here so uh, sooner or later I can start making a water tower down here uh, that is something I really would like to do off camera uh, as project now uh, let me just check what the tapir actually has uh, as, as it's about the stuff they have a lot of tropical and they have like one uh, temperate now I believe really that there is actually no Central America grassland. Let's just check it out now we are here, right? Uh-huh. Yes. And then the biome grassland. There is nothing there. Which is kind of strange. That there is totally nothing there. Now, of course, I could just put it on grassland, but... Uh, the problem here is... Um... Yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff that I uh, I don't know how that's going to work. Like North America, 
as you can see everything what I'm going to place of grasslands is you know not North America so I wonder how that will work I've got no idea it's kind of strange that this one is in here um, so what is the planning right now? Well, I've got the um, the buffalo in here. They can enjoy their water. Just have to check out if that is fine. Uh, the water is fine. Only 20 square meters, which is not much, but it's something. Uh, the area size is gigantic, um, but I've ordered two more females. So, uh, pro Bali, I'm going to buy some more because it's one male and 15 females or something. Uh, so I want to really use these guys for, oh, I'm doing it with a lot of them, as in breeding program. Like, let those dudes breed and, uh, so I can get conservation care. Now, I do have to be honest, this is park is, is not going to be difficult. One thing though, this park is gigantic. That is something that I still need to learn how to make use of a giant area. Um, because I always built stuff close onto each other, as you can see here. Yes, then it's filled up very well. Um, apparently, I'm still afraid to leave gaps. Um, yes, stuff like that. Okay, let's just check it out. Is the R? Uh, is the R? Uh, yeah, is the R? Uh, some more uh, female African buffalo. What we have, it's not like great, but you know what? Let's just adopt the last two of them and also give these a, uh, a name. The only good thing about this is it fills up the area a lot more. Now, like I said, maybe I should have um, gone around the corner here and, you know, uh, modify the terrain so the pathway will, you know, will be able to go through. I, I, I had to modify it anyway. I don't know, like, sometimes I feel like I need to restart stuff, but I'm not going to do this as a career mode and not a challenge mode or sandbox mode. And the one thing I need to learn in challenge mode and sandbox mode is to, you know, modify the terrain, make something awesome of it. I do have some ideas. Uh, any who's any house anyways. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's put all of these dudes in there, huh? Okay, there are two of them, because the other one's already there. So what has to happen right now is we are going to need to put in those two and the, s the facilities all up in here. Alright, so it's time to move on stop. Um, so let me just take care for that. Yes, it looks uh, different. I got so cringed off and I didn't have my day. I even didn't upload anything. So I just decided to drop all the animals into the trade center, use a lot of money to flatten the terrain, think out of a plan, and it finally worked out. It looks a bit different, yes. Uh, everything was was around here, is now around here. Now, of course, you need to keep in mind, this is once again not a sandbox and not a challenge mode, so I don't have a complete control of what's going on. Uh, anyhow, so let me just quick show you around and then let's move on. Um, it's a great start for the first video, by the way. So here are the wolves. Okay. have a nice little spot down here. The reason why I decided to put them down here is because the, um, the cliff side here with the water is very high, so it wouldn't very... Uh, you know work out with the animals that need to go into the water so that was the first thing i placed then i placed the tapirs down here because the cliff side uh here is going into the water again nice spot for the tapirs i really really like what i've done here uh so far as possible then on this large side i still decided to you know put in these um african black buffalo um good area for them uh, also, all the power things, uh, I have them inside, so, you know, the mechanic doesn't have to walk for miles. Um, then, oh yeah, over here I got this uh, piece of roof. That was because one of the uh, dudes was standing onto the roof, and then I saw him doing a very difficult jump, and I was like, that's dangerous, so let's make a ramp up, so we can just, uh, you know, take it easy there. 
yeah there is a lot of these guys in here i really need to keep an eye out you know for the that is not all overpopulating and then down here i've got the uh, camels and something is complaining here uh disease all right so one thing i might need to do also uh, i did hire an extra keeper and extra mechanic so there you go Can someone pick this dude up or it's life threatening bro? Is he no he died, no. Oh. Uh, so yeah one of these guys need to uh, bra away. This one, are you going to do that? Okay very good. So yeah these are the camels and i was thinking i still would like to try and see what now yes it, it, it is taken care of right now so calm down game um yeah i need to put in saltwater crocodiles now, i was thinking maybe i can still put them in here and uh, make ramps um but i'm not still not quite sure so always debating in my head shall I do it shall I not do it let's just see what we have we also have red pandas all of a sudden uh, they cost conservation credit I'm going to put it on pause I don't have too much time left on this episode um, so I need to decide quick uh, what was it red panda right probably wrong with that ah well okay uh, great you climbing proof they need uh, stuff they can climb Maybe that's a bad idea since I need to research the stuff to climb. Uh, let's just check out what is more here. Snow leopards, very expensive. Uh, maybe I could put in two, but at this moment it's expensive. I need to choose something else. Now monitors. But then, do I need water? I mean, it has the word Nile in it, right? Nile, Nile, Nile. They do need water. Uh, okay. Let's just, you know what? I want to try. Uh, is it still on Nile? Yes, it is still. Okay. They need 300 square meters and 7.5. Uh, apparently they don't need like a, a certain height. So in 3, 2, 1, let's get this job done. Alright. So I'm just going to do this. And, uh, actually before dragging out some stuff i decided that uh, you know first place these things so they, they don't have to be on the pot itself uh 300 square meters is not much right so let's just uh i would say jam it out until here uh, that's okay because here it goes to the water again um this is fine yeah, it's very sh a thin piece. Uh, so in this case, let's just uh, do this a little bit quick. Just going to place these around. So what I basically did is also like this and then shorten it up to one. And then this one is okay. That one is okay. And uh, this one needs to be one more. Unless I'm already there, very good. And then uh, this needs to go like that. Uh, not too much. Because I want to have for the water, I want to have the other fence. Uh, let's just do it like this. And then one. Yeah, let's just. Uh, I hope this will be enough actually. And uh, yeah. Let's just, oh, that is one thing I also need to keep in mind, that these dudes uh, will be able to walk in the habitat, right? So, yeah, let's just drag a piece of fence that that way, down about there, just like so, and then, ay 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 caramba, right? Uh, let's just land it up here. Uh, touch your head, cause stuff, and do this and that. 
I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but me not either, right? So in this case, can be yeah, that's okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, might be able to do this a little bit that way. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. They have like a nice uh, square meter of water. Um, let's just jam in a piece of stuff. I hope this will work. Very good. And what would also be handy is, uh, you know, first of all, connect this piece of fence up. This is very dangerous. I'm just going to delete the barrier. Connect it up. Replace this with that. The reason why you know I, I'm using this fence is because I like to you know a little bit role play. Uh, this water needs to stay clean, and uh, the water needs to go through in order to stay clean, uh, so these water purifiers can do the job. Logic, right? Uh, any who's any house, anyways. Uh, in this case, uh, or in another case, it just depends on what you like. Uh, Caramba, what do I want to do? I want to do... Yes. Let's just go under an animal. Sometimes just fall asleep. Uh, let's put it on the Nile. And if you don't mind, actually, I would like to uh, cut at it a piece out. So you can straight away see if it works or not. Alright, let's see if this uh, will work. The now monitor should be brought to this habitat right now. The only thing that I would like to show you is how you can actually pretty easy uh, get this stuff lined up. Since uh, if you are, you know, too close on the path, you might need to hold shift and you're like, hey, how high is this? You can look at the yellow lines onto the path. Uh, but it's sometimes a little bit messy around. So what I basically do is I'm just putting this onto the path. So let me just take a new one so you know it makes sense what I'm doing. Oh, you need to try to aim it out and oh. So uh, what I do here is uh, first of all I line it up the way how I want it, and then um, I'm just well normally this is dumb. Normally it will go on the path like this, right? So you can just turn it. And all I'm doing is holding shift and put it a little lower or a little higher. And then, you know, it will stay in the sky like this. Just let you know, this is a very handy uh, way of doing so. Uh, anyhow, I need this power because um, the stuff on the outside, uh, it kind of works. So I should be able to place uh, the stuff. It's actually a pretty challenge to, um, you know, do this along the riverside because... The um, first of all, this dude needs to be in there uh, because the whole show is uh, on a sloped uh, ground like this. So you really have to, you know, make this piece flat. And uh, of course, it, uh, this is very not much space. Are you going to get out of there? Because you know, how oh, you like your habitat, huh? You're going to jump around, swim, and that kind of crap. Uh, yeah, you could use some st stuff, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. Uh, you need soil. Uh, so let's just add in a little bit of training. I uh, need also rock. But ah, it works. Look at that. Oh! This is what I want to see. Now let's just click on this guy. I mean... <laughs> I almost knew for sure this would work. I, I, I did something like this before, but it's good to see it works. I really uh, like that. Alright, so what I have to do in this case is, uh, you know, off camera, I will just let stuff roll from now on, make it look nice. Probably start placing some benches on the outside, maybe a few trees and bushes and, you know, try to make this look nice. I want to make it look like a... How do you freaking call that in English? A always? Uh, not always like every day, but whatever. You get what I mean. Um, you know, make it look like a paradise in the middle of this dry-ass desert. Um, meanwhile, I'm researching this 
stop. I, you know, I got an extra mechanic, so mechanic will do. Uh, he's done with that, by the way. Stop with that and start researching this one. Uh, I'm going to research each, um, just one, one of each. And then, uh, you know, when we come back, I should have some of this wood stuff ready. And I really would like to make this piece down here into a uh, western area. Of course, more stuff will happen, but uh, the objective here is actually that we need to make exhibit. So that's perfectly uh, something to put down here, like, uh, you know, exhibit buildings, by some of these creeps in there. And, uh, you know, this stuff was okay for now. Our money is rolling, if I'm not wrong. Um, income 15, pay off 10, and then a profit 3000, which is uh, softly set okay for now. I will uh, just uh, upload another episode tomorrow. Uh, you know, things are fine for now. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Why don't you give each other a good one, huh? So you bend over in the front of his face, let him take a good snip, so his other tail will go up, stick it right in the butt, ah, uh, get some babies. <laughs>